but in Rome, eternal city, the Vatican bells of St. Peter's ring in peace. A huge crowd masses in the Vatican Plaza to hear Pope Pius XII speaking to Italians and Allied troops the day following Rome's liberation. 250,000 fill the square, a momentous occasion, a symbol of the thanks which all free peoples feel for the deliverance of a great and historic city. Then the drama shifted to St. Peter's. His Holiness the Pope was about to speak, and nearly half a million packed the historic square. Pope Pius had this to say, thanks be to God, Rome has been spared the horrors of war. We should show our gratitude by good works and charity, and cease from hatred and rancor. Ieri ancora trepidante per la vita dei suoi figli e delle sue figlie, per la sorte di incomparabili tesori di religione e di cultura, con dinanzi agli occhi lo spettro terrificante della guerra e di inimmaginabili distruzioni, guarda oggi con nuova speranza e con rinnovata fiducia alla sua salvezza. Pope Pius gives audience to Allied soldiers for the first time since the war began. The pontiff already had given thanks that Rome had been spared the ravages of battle. And here he meets some 4,000 fighters who freed the Italian capital from Nazi tyranny. His Holiness was carried to the throne giving the troops his blessing as he passed. It was an event such as Rome had never before witnessed. Linguist and world traveler, Pius spoke to the troops in English. It is a real joy for us to welcome you all here within the very own home of the common father of Christendom. Your presence naturally recalls to our minds the very pleasant days we had once the privilege of a passing in the great capital of the British Empire. But it also summons up other memories, memories of those heroes of the faith Saint Edward and the Saint Thomas a. Becket, Saint John Fisher and the Saint Thomas More, who shed a supreme and unfading glory on your country. To their protection, we commend you all. You know very well, you have had an experience now of the dangers and uncertainties of life in the midst of a war. Make one thing certain, that you keep always close to God. And the Filius, and the Spiritus Sanctus, Amen. Amen. As he was born from the audience chamber, His Holiness again blessed the men who have brought peace to southern Italy. Thank you.